Peggy 7. Hi, my name is Brian Lindley. I'm the producer for Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Uh, I'm going to be doing a little commentary over 24-player Team Vanquish action from our recent press events. All right, to start off, we're looking at the all-star of the zombie team. <laughs> Now, the All-Star is kind of like the heavy. He's got a big, powerful zombie cannon as his primary weapon. Now, here the zombie's going to use his exploding imp hunt. Now, the imp hunt is a, is a fan imp that's been laced with explosive. It bounces a couple of times before exploding hilariously, taking out plants. Here he is combining the football cannon with his powerful sprint tackle attack. Whenever he's got plants in front of him, he can unleash that for a powerful knockback and damaging blow. He saw the potato mine there, backed away, and let his teammate take the hit. And the All-Star got caught in a corn missile strike, called in by the garlic drone. Here we are looking at the Engineer. This is his welder variant. He just jumped on the jackhammer. The jackhammer allows him to move up quickly and around the battlefield very fast. He can also fire his primary weapon. It does a lot of damage on the move. Now the welder variant does a little bit of fire damage with each attack. So you see the plants? They have some fire on them every time they get hit. Now here's an example of the engineer's drone. Now this, the engineer can, can fly this drone over the battlefield. You see it has a laser style kind of pulse weapon so he can shoot at plants down below. The engineer just got caught in a spike weed. Spikeweed is a trap laid down by the chomper on the plant team. Here we are on the drone again, calling on zomb bomb strikes. You see those bombs hitting the top of that car there? Those will take out a lot of plants. All right, now we're taking a look at the scientists. Now, these are some of our favorite customization options for the scientists. Now, there'll be dozens more options than this in the final game. Funny shark head and monocle. Always good for a laugh. All right, now the scientist is the healer class of the zombie team. You see those big healing stations spewing out purple goo? Those heal any nearby zombies. Scientist has some pretty cool abilities. You see his warp right there. It allows him to warp ahead 10, 15 meters. Now here we're looking at the marine biologist variant of the scientist. His primary weapon has changed slightly. It's a dolphin that spews fish guts. A little bit like a shotgun. And there he is getting taken out by the chomper. Now, the scientist just threw his sticky explodey ball. It'll stick to the world, it'll also stick to enemies before exploding. It's a bit like a proximity mine. Now, the scientist is really powerful when he combines his warp ability with his primary weapon. Allowing him to warp forward, do some hit and run attacks and warp out. Now the scientist is most effective at short range. You see he's trying to take out that cactus there, just not doing it at long range. His weapon can't do it. Oops, 
stepped on another potato mine. So now we're looking at the foot soldier. This is a variant of his called the Camo Ranger. Now, the, he just did his rocket jump there with a ZPG strike right at the end. And here he is throwing his stink cloud grenade. It's basically like a smoke grenade. It's great for creating cover and diversions. Now the Camo Ranger's primary weapon has a little bit more range than the uh, default foot soldier weapon. It doesn't shoot quite as fast, but it does a bit more damage. So here's one of our favorite new tactics is using the rocket jump and then firing the ZPG at the height of your jump. So now we're taking a look at the pea shooter wearing the Agent P costume. Now here's a clever use of the chili bean ability, catching an unsuspecting scientist from behind. Now the Agent P has a suppressed Silence P cannon. Here's a P shooter using his hyper ability to get in close for the next attack. Now here's the P shooter using the Gatling attack again. You see a cluster of zombies over there surrounded by healing stations. It's going to be hard to take anyone out in that situation. So now we're looking at the cactus. This one's got some pretty funny customizations. Pretty crazy hat, ice cream cones for hands, and some pretty neat camouflage. Their primary weapon is a needle shot. It's got good zoom, good range. Now there she's deploying the walnut barrier and some potato mines. Those are great for sort of creating traps and, and cover for yourself in a pinch. Fire it pretty rapidly so it can do a lot of damage in short bursts. Now here's a view from the Cactus's garlic drone. Now like the engineer drone, the garlic drone can fly above the battlefield, shooting needles down. It can also call in torn missile strikes. Now we're seeing a variant of the Cactus called the Ice Cactus. Again, her weapon works pretty much the same except it has freezing properties, so a couple consecutive hits on zombies will slow them to a halt, making them easy to take out. She got caught by the All-Star's imp hunt right there. And there was the All-Star partially frozen. Now here we are looking at the garlic drone again. Just called in a corn missile strike. You can see the popcorn firing over there. All right, now we've got the chomper with some pretty crazy customization options. The chopper's using the goop ability now the goop will slow down zombies, but in combination with the burrow ability, it allows the chomper to burrow underneath the feet of zombies and chomp them from below. So now we're looking at the sunflower, the healer of the plant team. This is the power flower variant of the sunflower. Now there she just deployed a marigold pot. Now see that marigold pot will deploy sun drops and heal any nearby teammates. And those beams between her and the other sunflowers and plant teammates, those are heal beams. That is direct healing of plant teammates in battle. Sunflowers are very powerful when grouped together. Here she is using her sunbeam ability, which is a rooted ability where she can't move, but she has a more powerful attack. And that's 24 player Team Vanquish in Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Thanks for watching.